Some justices on the state's highest court are facing pressure to step aside as they get ready to hear a case that will have a big impact on this year's election. Next week, they're going to hold a hearing about the new electoral districts that Republicans approved, as some groups are hoping that the court will simply throw those out. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland has been covering the story for us, joins us live in Raleigh. Michael, a lot is at stake in this case. Right, and you'll be seeing more frequent reminders about that in your Facebook feed and elsewhere in the coming days. Groups are trying to call voters' attention to why this matters so much. The North Carolina Supreme Court is our last hope. You may see this ad in the coming days highlighting a key decision the state Supreme Court will make soon. The nonpartisan group Represent Us wants the court to find the new electoral districts Republicans drew for Congress and the General Assembly are unconstitutional, that they unfairly would help Republicans win elections. And really, we want to explain to folks what's going on and what the stakes are right now in gerrymandering in North Carolina. The court is majority Democratic, and three of the seven justices are facing calls to recuse themselves from the case. Democrats don't want Republicans. Republican Justice Phil Berger Jr. to hear it because his father runs the Senate and is directly affected. Republicans want Democratic Justice Sam Irvin off the case because he's up for re-election. But in the last few days, they focused on Democratic Justice Anita Earls, even sending out what they call impartial Anita's tweet of the day, highlighting her past criticism of Republicans and ties to former Attorney General Eric Holder, whose group funds gerrymandering lawsuits. And it definitely gives the impression that um, the General Assembly is not going to get going to get a fair hearing. I've never seen this public kind of campaign against individual justices. David McLennan is a political analyst at Meredith College. The state court system is going to be seen in much more political terms and seen as less trustworthy by at least a group of citizens. Each justice will decide for themselves whether to hear the case. The other justices on the court cannot force them to step aside. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.